Good day and welcome to my garage. Alright, I can drill those out for a M5. Off to the drill press. Okay, well I'll get a, uh, a clamp, clamp the back down and drill and tap this hole, well drill this hole uh, and tap, yes. Alright, we'll see how that goes, but I've got to redo this again because I forgot to pre-drill the, uh, the back hole, but you can get the guess to it. I'm back. Okay, draw these remaining out to 5mm, countersink them and um, tap those remaining holes. Okay, it all comes apart and that gets tapped, drilled, tapped, and then I can do all the others. <coughs> okay, that's the first rail. I'm going to put it put it in the uh, in the carriage and with a fly cutter just skim that in, that inner edge and that'll give me a um, true true reference point uh, for the 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 other 
the other rail. I've got some 10 mil, 10 mil key, key stock, must be still in the car. That goes in between, the other one comes up against it, and then through this whole process starts again. Too many holes, too much threading, but hey, it's got to be done. Alright, catch you later. Coming to the end of this, um, this is where the temporary work table had a problem. There was no support in the back section, whereas this uh, permanent table, I'll put that extension on. It's rock solid. Okay, I've just got to clean those edges up and uh, that's done. Don't forget when you're in metric countries, the 3.8 is a little bit under 10 millimetres, 9.84 or something, can't remember now. Uh, so yeah, use a bit of uh, 10 mil key stock, not 3.8 key stock or 3.8 tool steel. No, I've done that mis mistake before. <coughs> so there we have the uh, positions marked out, drilling and tapping. Bring you back. Okay, we're getting down to the final stages. In there. I'll push it up the either surface, <coughs> lock it down, that will come back parallel a second time, same position a second time. Um, just have to machine, re-machine this face now. Looks like it um, came out very even. Could have been a little bit out, because uh, the, the machining of that face will bring it back to true. 
and then uh, well what's left after this tail stock is that it is that it the tail stock actually at the present moment it's uh, it's functional it's done a couple of little things on this and then I did that electric pump so it's done a couple of things but um, officially at the present moment it is not Well here we go, this is the finish between this side being the temporary work table, scratches all over the place. It's not, you know, it's not a good finish, no, but you could work with it, it's, uh, it, it, it is uh, accurate, but it's, it's a terrible finish. And that was with the uh, temporary work table. Now, with this permanent work table, Beautiful finish, beautiful finish. It's not mirror, I'll give it that. It's not mirror, but if I came back with a, a light two or three thou cut, maybe faster speed, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's a huge improvement. And there's nothing different except for the t uh, the table. Is t it went from a, uh, a rather sloppy, bendy, um, work temporary work table to a very rigid permanent work table. Well, that's it for me. Catch you later. Um, we're now at the uh, getting towards the well, we're at the end of Gingery's um, filling machine uh, build book for. Um, this is now the where are we at? Where are you, where at? I am. I am at, and you're following me, so it is already. Um, I have got the tail stand to make, um, the tail stock, however you want to call it, I think he calls it a tail stand. It sits on the end, end here to support um, a bar with cutter or whatever, however, uh, across, yeah, to support the bar. That, that's supporting or uh, holding the cutter. And the tail stand has to be height adjustable because the, uh, the head is height adjustable. So this tail stand has to be made. It's the last project of this uh, uh, in the book. So um, let's continue on building the pattern for the tail stand. Come on, let's start. Tempering of the moulding sand. Um, I did a lot of reading, a lot of YouTubing on uh, uh, the tempering of the sand, how how wet. Made a lot of mistakes in the uh, earlier days. Still making them, don't worry. Still making them. But um, uh, yeah, the the, the sand. I, 
find that it's hard to explain the moisture content. Uh, Gendry tried explaining it, a lot of people have tried explaining it. Old Foundry Man, uh, he actually commented in one of his videos that um, you know, doing this sausage test doesn't really say anything. Um, I find that, see how that's stuck to my hair? I've finished with this one, I'm now work, going to work on this one. See how that's stuck to my hair? And it's hard to get off. Yeah. That, uh, this is 24 hours old. I did this yesterday. I like to leave it for 24 hours in a bucket. It seems to get through it all. Um, and that yesterday didn't seem that wet. It's definitely wetter today after it's been sweating inside this plastic bucket with the lid on it. Uh, but then that was the moisture content that was in the sand yesterday on this wooden table. So it's not that it's more water than in the bucket than what it was on the table. Um, but yeah, that's I don't like that. That's too wet. It sticks to your hands too much. This. Still does that sausage test business, but cleans off relatively e easy, easier than that, and it's not that dry that you just brush it in and it's off. Um, yeah, so how do you know when it's tempered right? Well, really, there's one, there's one good test. when you cast something you get big blow holes in it and it looks like it's a load of concrete slurry um, that was too much moisture I think not too sure I'm not a good foundry man but um, I think that was too much moisture as I said I'm, I'm not a foundry man I'm just a home hobbyist that plays with this, but um, yeah, it's hard to explain what's the what's the right moisture content. And see how that came off. Relatively easy, a little bit of work, but nowhere near as much as that. Yeah, you can feel the the, the moisture content in the sand too. It's not as it's not as damp or or is, that's colder. Yeah, it feels colder. Alright, enough babbling. And <laughs> soon I'll be using this sand, so um, I'll be finding out whether I have been babbling. Okay, starting to go off.